Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a real quick tip on how to restring an electric guitar with a Bigsby on it. Bigsby's are, pro are probably the most challenging tail piece in my personal opinion um, and there's no good advice on the internet on how to restring these. They do make a little attachment that you can put on here. It's, it's called a string spoiler um, but that kind of ruins the look of the Bigsby. It does work of course but it ruins that classic look. Um, so I will obviously want to use the Bigsby the way it was intended and the internet generally tells you replace one string at a time. The big problem with that is I can't clean the neck and I just had to dress some of the frets on this uh, country gentleman and clean them up. Hopefully you can see they look nice and pretty. Uh, and as I zoom up here, you can see that the way I do mine is I use a capo. So this is one of those cheap little capos that's like five or six dollars that uh, actually screws down. And the reason I use this particularly is because you can make it really, uh, really tight on the neck, which normally would make your strings go slightly out of tune if you were to use it while playing. So this one's not the best for playing. It's kind of fidgety, but um, it works really well for keeping the string taut. So um, I'm gonna finish winding this one up really quick um, and then I'll show you one from scratch what I do. So really quickly, I wanted to show you the capo that I use for this process. I literally bought this capo just for this. Um, and like I said, you can screw this um, in or out to make it this part tighter in order to clamp down on the neck. Um, and normally I would use like a capo like this. I think this is a Dunlap or, or whatever. Um, these are great. Um, there's another brand that starts with a K. These are great for like playing. Um, this one isn't so good for playing, but it's great for the process we're doing today. So I just thought I'd kind of show you that. You can do it with this, but it, it generally doesn't have enough tension um, to clamp down the neck and keep the, str the string um, where it should be. So anyway, we'll go, we'll go back and I'll show you uh, the next string. All right, so here is the A string we're gonna go ahead and put on. Um, gonna unwind it. And then what I, what I first do is I take some near nose pliers. And I think a lot of people do this step regardless um, of how they do it, but you just kind of, I bend it a little bit here, and I bend it a little bit more uh, close down to the actual eyelet. You don't want to bend it a ton down here um, in case it starts somehow unraveling. I've had that happen a few times, um, but very rare. It's more of a string defect than anything. But anyway, you go ahead and grab it like this. You bring it up around. You put it on the little pig, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it down with my, with my uh, thumb on this hand, on my left hand. And then as I do that, I'm going to wrap it around so that it forms to the um, the uh, little bar here more. And then I just keep tension on it, keep pulling on it. And I'm going to hold it with my left hand so that way I can move the camera up. You can see I'm keeping a lot of tension on it with this hand. I'm keeping it very, very taut. Um, and then I actually put this little capo down on the um, ninth fret. Just clamp it down. And what this does is it holds it, so it keeps that tension, keeps it from popping off this peg, um, and then this allows me to go ahead and, and use both my hands to restring the top. So I really don't need to show you restringing the, the top of it. I'm sure you guys have seen that a thousand times. But, but anyway, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video very much. If you did, please leave a like, and don't forget to share it with anyone out there who has a Bigsby who's having trouble restringing it because these little things are nice, but they are a pain in the butt sometimes. So anyway, that's it. Like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in Beatles or guitar, um, just videos in general, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos. So thank you very much, and have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.